So methods in animals are much more powerful than methods in humans because you can do all kinds of invasive things. So let's stop and think about that for just a minute. I want to acknowledge that there are ethical questions in animal research. I think it's complicated. I don't have a clear read on this myself, but I want to just acknowledge, if you're wondering, as you should be, like, is this okay? So um, this is a problem, of course, um, and it's not unreasonable to have qualms. Plenty of thoughtful, pe informed people have qualms about animal research. Okay, so there's nothing wrong with having qualms. Causing suffering to animals for no reason is completely unacceptable. Okay, I think we all, can all agree on that. But there's a difficult trade-off between avoiding animal suffering and huge benefits uh, to human lives, right? Especially from medical research, which overlaps somewhat with neuroscience research in, in ways that we can't always tell. So millions of lives have been saved because of progress in medical practice based on animal research, including mine. I wouldn't be here today if not for animal research. I had lymphoma a few years ago. It absolutely would have killed me without advances in, um, in medical research that were all, you know, all the things that were done to me were done first on animals. That's not an argument that it's absolutely okay. It's just we need to understand these trade-offs, yeah? Um, so um, I'm not gonna tell you what the right thing is. I just want to acknowledge this question and tell you a few things, okay, for you to think about this. First is that animal research is extremely heavily regulated here. So every effort is made to minimize animal suffering and maximize animal welfare in um, animal research, including the research that goes on in this building. So there is excellent vet care. There are full-time vets in this building who are just incredibly competent, skilled, caring individuals who spend their lives doing their best for the animals who are being researched on this building. My sense is that the ethical issues are less about pain per se. Pain can be regulated with anesthetics and other things, and I think in general, as a vast oversimplification, the problems with animal research are less about pain. Most of the animals in this building and in research um, organizations are probably not in pain. I'm sure it happens, but I think it's rare, and to me, it's not the big question. To me, obviously, I'm not gonna test you on this. I just felt it was important to hit this point before we go on. To me, the bigger issue is what kind of life are they living in lab cages, right? Would we be willing to do that? No, we wouldn't, right? And so I think, again, here these things are complicated. There is a, a, um, there's an increase in efforts to make the um, animal care be compassionate. So there's now um, group housing in, for monkeys. Marmosets, whole families are together in a cage. Marmosets live in family groups, including in this building. Um, the people who study vision are basically, their monkeys do video games all day, right? They're studying vision, they want the monkeys motivated. So the monkeys are, many of them, really excited to get into the chair and do the task. Sure looks like a person doing a video game, okay? Not all of them, but many of them. But one's first guess is you look at these kind of metal cages and you think this is awful. This animal would be, rather, would, would be happier in nature and probably some of the time, but again, I think this is complicated. Nature's pretty nasty too, much of the time. Um, so all of this just to say, oh, finally, that benefits of research are forever. And so if you have qualms about animal research, the one ethical thing that seems clear to me, doesn't mean you need to adopt it, just saying where I've gotten with this, which is I still struggle, but to me the one thing is clear is that animal research is much more justifiable than eating meat or wearing leather, which is utterly unnecessary and has no long-term benefit whatsoever. It's simply a convenience or a pleasure, right? So all that to say, I'm gonna go on and talk about animal research, not because I don't think there's a question. I welcome you know, your thoughts on this. Um, I think so, those are some of the issues, okay?